when I was in, what was it, fourth grade? Well, I was playing with some Lego blocks because I was playing with, um, what were they, kindergarten kids? Maybe they were really young, you know, you know, younger than me. And we, were, <laughs> <laughs> and we were playing with the Legos and I was like, oh, let's stack them high. And, you know, I'm the tallest one, so I can stack <laughs> higher. <laughs> and then I like just push them over and let them fall on them. It was funny. On the kids? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, I feel that's the only reason for children is just to like torture them, you know, and then watch them cry. <laughs> Shut up! Welcome to the Real and Real Pod. My name is David, and I am here with my. Somewhat sleepy, I guess. Tired co-host E. Oh, I wish I could do this laying down. You probably could. Nah, I have to be like sitting up in some form because it has to be like up and over me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess that could be a thing, right? Because this thingy rotates. Nope. <laughs> oh. Here on the real world, we take a concept, a character from a movie, and ask the question: What if it or they were in the real world? We take five minutes to come with three points each, and then we discuss. Eve, tell us what the question is today. Well, the question is, what if everyone was a Lego? This is in honor of the movie Ninjago. Um, is that what it's called? Yeah, I don't um, know who's in this movie. Uh, basically, Legos. I, I got that part. <laughs> um, and yeah, Legos. it's about ninjas. And Legos. from the trailer, what I can see, there's a son. His name is Lloyd, and his father left him. His father was evil, and his father, he says, um, he's like, I'll get you father or something. He's like, Lloyd. He's like, it's Lloyd. He's like, no, I named you. It's Lloyd, two L's. So, Is that how he says it in the movie? Yes, that's how he says it in the movie. Lloyd. <laughs> so are you looking forward to this Ninjago Lego movie? Yes, when it comes out on television. I am really not. I saw the Lego movie, which was enjoyable. But people overhyped it. I saw the Batman movie, which started out high and then went very low. Oh. And now this one, just don't care. That Lloyd line was pretty funny. But other than that, I don't care. Uh, but yeah, moving on to the show. So the question was, what if everyone was a Lego? Yes. Okay, so three points in five minutes. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> And we're back. And the question was, what if everybody was a Lego? Ladies first. Lego my ego. Yo. Do you even eat waffles? I eat parts of them. It doesn't matter. Them. Parts. Par- Never mind. <laughs> Continue, please. These are facts. Okay. So all of my points make sense. It's set my last. But my. That's two. That's one. <laughs> that's one out of three. Yeah. Like you had 10 points and one was bad. Hey. Whatever. <laughs> the point is, my statement is still fact. Okay, first point. Doctors would no longer exist. Why? Because the Legos. What you gonna do, break a leg? You just pop it back on. Ah! Was that one of your points? You can't see my frustration. Maybe that was one of my points. Yes! Thing. <laughs> that was my second point, was that doctors would go out of business because all you need to do is replace any broken limbs with a new Lego. No, <laughs> oh, look, you did like a whole little explanation and stuff. I just said doctors wouldn't exist no more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess they would exist. Or, or, are plastic surgeons called doctors? Plastic surgeons? Yeah. Is that are, what they, are they doctors? Yeah, they're doctors. Okay, so plastic surgeon doctors would technically exist. It's but not. It's, pla- it's, it's literally, literally plastic, plastic surgeons. surgeons. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So there you go. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah. Okay. So that, yeah. All right. So plastic surgeons would take over. <laughs> so that should be your first point now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and. No, this is our point. Plastic <laughs> surgeons would take over and basically just place parts where they need to. well in legos they don't have you- well see the plastic surgeons would make the lego parts i feel like yes because you can't really enhance anything i don't remember legos having you don't have like guns and bazookas or something no 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 but that's not in your hand i mean that's that's not a part of your arm <laughs> <laughs> right. it's in your hand so i'm just saying like but is it not like a, i feel like if they had a bazooka it would be able to like attach to their back because it would just it's like a lego you put it together so but it does it's like a backpack it's not it's not attached to your skin it doesn't they don't have skin though they do it's lego skin it's plastic skin yeah but they don't still have the little holes that you could add more 
No, their hand is a like a little like a little holder and you stick a gun about, inside what about their feet though like they could like, stick no, on no they st- they're just stuck on stuff you can't add you can't put a gun underneath someone's feet what is that <laughs> what if you put the what um <laughs> anyway what they do is i don't think there's any muscles or boobs or anything so they definitely have some chest they just draw it on there it's not like hey it's, I it's not protruding. i didn't say it protr- yeah i said it was a chest oh yeah, <laughs> um, yeah no doubt so how do you draw them with no chest? Yeah, bigger. I'm just saying, how do, if they're a plastic surgeon, what does a bigger chest look like? Just bigger loops, bigger circles? Yeah, bigger circles. Bigger, bigger curves. Bigger cur- curves. Bigger top curve? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you have that top curve and then the tank top. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. Hmm. Let's move on to my... My Lego... So can you take an arm off? See, I feel like my Lego You people... can take an arm off. You just can't replace it with a gun. <laughs> Oh, you put the gun no. in their hands. This is not. What is that show with sharks that had like ar- like the shark made arm? No, oh. this is really old. It's like an old cartoon. They had <sighs> guns as arms or something like that. But anyway, mm. no, that's not a thing. You can't stick a gun under. Oh, that's lame. Yeah, this is lame. That people can't attach guns to their arms or detach their arms to attach put a guns. Gun That'd be too much work. No, it's too much work. What if you're trying to go to sleep? That's not comforting. You're trying to cuddle with your boo thing and your gun hits on the take it off. <laughs> Then I got no arm. <laughs> then put the arm back. I left when I got the gun. Oh, well, you just got to wait until you can call the plastic surgeon <laughs> in the morning for a replacement. For a replacement arm. Two-day shipping. Free. Oh, off Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay. My, What's your first point? Or should we just go back to you? Because like, that was my... That was your first point? No, that was my second. Oh, um, see, there you go. Okay, so my first point. Remember that movie, End Time? With uh, Justin Timberlake and oh yeah, such an underrated, underrated movie. I disagree. Uh, really? The concept is good. The uh, the execution is not all the way there. I see. I think I saw them all about the concept. The concept. I was just like, oh, this is dope. Yes, it is. You but literally get to see the, your life. Justin like, Timberlake is not a lead actor at that time. He wasn't, and the movie just kind of fell apart at the end. About the love story, didn't care. But anyway, um, that was a love story. With him and the girl who I was just rich. remember his best friend. Who was killed because he got because he gave him some time that and then was, no. tried to track him down. No, what best friend? Didn't he have? He had like a best. They all got best friends. Like he didn't, didn't have, have a best friend. What are you talking about? Okay, in time, just so you know, you're poor. You can see on your arm how much time you have to live. Yeah, you have to work to get more, et cetera, yeah. et cetera, or buy it. Someone jumps off of a something bridge, falls, gives him all his like million years. That's not his friend. No, I know not him. Oh. But from that, he starts giving people because he has so much time. So he starts giving people some. I don't so, think he was a charity case giving away time to people. I don't remember that. No, part. no, no. I mean, not like that was a thing. But there were just certain people. He was like, like he gave his mom some more time. Um, I thought his mom died. No, she was about to die. I think she died. I think she ends up dying. I think she died. <laughs> well, I don't. He gave people some time. I think she died. And then I know he gave some friends some time, and the friend opened his mouth, and then that's when they found out he had like a million years. But you can see it on his arm anyway. But he hid his arm. It doesn't I mean, matter. He was in a rich casino; everyone could see it. Yeah, by that time we gotta read. We gotta read. Yeah, movie. but yeah, like the movie in time. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, people, you work for time. I think this will work the same way in the Lego world. If everyone's a Lego, you, you have parts. to work for time, not parts. Why time? Because you don't die. You're a, you're a Lego. So what nothing's do you time aging for? inside because we have to kill you eventually. Too many too many Legos. Too too many pieces. Too many people walk around. This, that's ridiculous. We get overpopulated. We got to disassemble you. But how can we just dis, like disa- disable dis- <laughs> disassemble all these people? We can't because who decides who gets disassembled and who decides who doesn't? So what you do is you go to work. You get time. Those who run out of time, we disassemble you. You get split up into parts. I and feel then- like you should blow up. What? No, you- we need those parts. <laughs> But what if you run away? I gotta find you. It's too no, much. we we got trackers and everybody. We got trackers and everybody. I could take. I could literally probably remove the tracker with my leg. No, it's in your. It's in your chest. You move that, you die. Because <laughs> it's your whole center chest portion. <laughs> yeah, because that's where your inner self lives. Okay, I that's just where, go get a new that's chest where your soul from a plastic you can't, That's where your soul is. You can. You can. No, you can only plastic surgeon limbs head feet so you can change your look you can like change your face mm-hmm. you cannot change your chest chest always stays the exact that's same that's lame but so what if are you saying I can have a red chest but everything else is gonna be yellow <laughs> hey, that's, all, that's all on you that's what you originally started with then yeah 
There ah. you go. So people will be working for time. Okay. There you go. Yep, 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 yep. You got your next point. <laughs> My next point is also phi. That's what the young kids say. Don't know what that means. Want to explain it to the rest of us who are not young it's kids? It's phi. Um, I think it's short for fire, which is supposed to be like, it's hot, so it's good. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's I've never felt so old. Not old. It just sounds stupid. Hey, when I um these young kids, you know, when you um when you explain it to somebody, Mm -hmm. this is what it sounds like. Oh, that's fi. What does fi mean? Oh, it's short for fire. So it's fi. It's fi. No, it's not fire. No, no, no. That means it's hot. Yes, fire is hot. That means it's good. <laughs> like, what? What does it even mean? <laughs> like, you know, that hot stuff. Yeah, like, <laughs> that, that makes good. no sense. How does hot mean good and good is hot and hot is fire? What? And how did you it to fire? That's okay. what it was. It made no oh, sense. It's funny. We go, go. <laughs> Continue. What's your five, five. point? <laughs> There would be no more successful suicides. Mm-hmm. That's it. Why? Why? Not? Oh, because Legos can't die. Legos can't die. You can melt me. Boom. Because it's fire. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's a good point. Thank you. Thank you. So, are Thank you, you saying... But who's really ballsy enough to set themselves on fire? People who really want to kill them. <laughs> what do you mean? There's suicide people out there. Okay, maybe less successful suicides? No, it'd just be... There's one way to get... Not one way to suicide. I was like, one way to suicide. There is one... Only a few one ways... One way to you, kill yourself. Only a few ways... No, because you can get mercury and melt yourself, too. So there's only a few... Or a microwave. There's only a few ways to kill yourself. Okay? Who popping in a whole microwave? <laughs> An oven. Who hopping in a whole oven? Have you not seen that movie with them grandparents who tried to stick their kids in the oven? Yes, they tried to stick them in it. The but, kid didn't try to crawl in and yes, try to get comfortable. Here's the thing. These people are trying to kill themselves. They're going to crawl up in there. Melt, melt. <laughs> I think this is so melt, much. Melt, 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 You know how much dedication you got to have. There's not dedication at all. You try to kill yourself. Just set yourself on fire and let it just burn. Yes, that's the point. That's dedication. Not really. It's yes. your, It's what you're what you're trying to do in the first place. That's, that's still dedication. So it's, it's like setting your foot on fire. You're going to attempt. You're, you're, you're like, blah, blah, blah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> your natural reaction is going to be like, no burn. Like, I'm not feeling this fire. You know? We get a short fire. I was trying to. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's just. I'm not. That's a lot of work. That's I don't little, think it's that much work. And then you're melting. Oh, well, that's the point. My... <laughs> <laughs> that's the no. point. To melt. <laughs> okay, so less suicides, less successful suicides. Harder to be suicidal. You said what? Harder to be suicidal. Oh, I thought you said Harvey would be suicidal. I'm yes, like, he who would. Is Harvey, he's the Lego. <laughs> he's trying to kill himself. Right, trying okay, to melt himself. Um, okay, my last point, because you took my my middle one, um, it was the doctors. My last point is that um, is no one would have. Teen years in life. Okay. Wait, did you? No, that's your second point. That's your last point. It's my last point because you took the doctor. I mean, the doctor one we agree was. This, I mean, it was the same one. So my last point no, is that we didn't agree on that. <laughs> I told you what mine was. It was basically the same thing. Yeah, we agreed that we had the same point. So but what's we the didn't point of me going back over it? We didn't agree that you weren't about to come up with another one. Why would I come <laughs> up with another one? We've never done that before. We can't have the same point. Uh, we just go with it. Wow. Okay. So anyway, so <laughs> my last point is that no one would have teen years, okay? Teen? Teen. Like Would you have baby years? Yes. Okay. So you have baby years. And okay? you become an adult. And then you're an adolescent and then all of a sudden we don't want to deal with you in your troubled teens, okay? We don't wanna as a parent, I don't wanna deal with that. So I'm gonna just switch you to an adult, get out my face. So there you go. You have a job, you're owned by yourself, you, you you're getting going. There you go. Done. Done, 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 done. So, what's an adolescent? Eleven? Twelve? Twelve? Because thirteen is teen. So, So once you turn twenty, there you go. Excuse me. I mean, once you turn nineteen, I got to switch you. When you turn twenty, you're you're an adult. There you go. Hmm. Well, no, when you turn 
we turn so why aren't we 12, having 10 years because no one cares about like that's drama you're doing dumb things at that time in your life you're you're allowed to do dumb things because now you have more mobility you don't you're not a child <laughs> anymore you you're a team mobility. like you're out in these streets I ain't got time for that okay I want to sit your eyes as a parent I don't want to deal with that technically I slick wanted to move you from uh, age two because you was getting up a nurse as a child but I was like you know what let me let you enjoy your childhood are we, do we still learn like how do we learn are we just like I think depositing? it's just like a, yeah deposit just all the information in your head like bam there you go once I switch you it all it all might come to you I have to get a job yes you do go <laughs> simple like, as that there I you no go. longer live here yep nope. you no longer no you don't no mm-hmm. I wouldn't kick you out I let you Aww. find a place for a little while maybe a week that's a blessing then you guys to go hey a week is longer the more than... you annoy me the, the less time you get though what if they're not annoying you could still be annoying but what being if not annoying. parents could choose when to switch their kids to adults no nope. teens gotta go mm-hmm. gotta go Anybody we find that's a teen, kill you. Now that's a little harsh. That could be a thing. You just like murder. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna take that back. No, no. That could be a thing. You know, no. give them a chance. Let no. them grow. You know, and then let them die. <laughs> <laughs> and then apparently a very painful death at that because they got to be set on fire to die. Oh, I just couldn't imagine being burnt alive. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because you, you're looking off in the distance like a gate. I just couldn't imagine being burnt alive. <laughs> no, I can't. Oh, my goodness. You know, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> But you're, but you're looking all like your eyes are askew. Imagine being burnt alive. As if you're on stage at one of them poetry readings and everyone's going to go snap, snaps at the end. Imagine being burned alive. That's how you did my heart, Jeffrey. I can't. Like, my goodness. I can't. She really went through. Yes. It's like, I am. And I'm the heartless one. I'm a Lego. <laughs> being Name burnt the- alive. <laughs> Destroyed by Bart Jeffrey. Lego. <laughs> you threw me in the oven and threw away my heart. Oh my god. Snaps. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I would love for laughs? Oh my goodness. We should go to a poetry reading. <laughs> right? And write the stupidest thing possible and just see if we get I, anything. I think <laughs> everyone would hate us because they're like, I bore my soul and these idiots come up here trying to act all jokey because I know someone's already done it. You know someone's already done it. So I, unless I do it and then it sounds dumb but I'm really deep with it like yeah. like a let go you threw me in the oven and melted me because right. that's the only way you could kill my soul or something. They'd be like, alright. Like, like, no, like Lego you took man. my soul Mm-mm. in the same fire you took my life. See, something like that, but and then the end Legos? It, we end it with Legos. Don't start it with Legos because so then it sounds stupid. Dot 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 Lego. <laughs> I mean, of course we can we can do a whole thing. We can no, say I like how the whole thing had nothing to do with it. At the end, <laughs> Lego, like perfect, perfect. We like end scene, like that's it, and just oh, that would be oh priceless, priceless. I would just die. Yeah, I love that. But, oh um, yeah, let's let's. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. I don't know. I want some kids to. I think that should be punishment. Just kill teens. So if you want, what's your, your last point? Because <laughs> this sounds horrible. The more you talk, <sighs> death is horrible. Which is why I felt bad about being burnt alive. Anyways, about them being burnt alive. Got it. TSA. Do we? Can we say? <laughs> can we say that we know what TSA is? Airport. You gotta yeah. go through TSA. Okay. Wait. Like, are you? Are you asking no, I'm just the sure. audience? If I mean, know what- hey, whatever. Whoever wants to respond, do we know what TSA is? Do we feel like that's a general, everyone knows if you've ever been on the plane? Hey, kids. Um, whoever's listening, if you haven't been on the plane yet, I can't say kids because grumps sometimes haven't been on the plane. Right. Anyone who has not been on the plane, TSA are the agents that protect your country. Asterisk. And basically... <laughs> is that really what they are? That's what they're supposed to be for yet yeah, protecting CSA the agent. country i mean they're the first line of defense bruh i just are they not security that's what it is basically but security for your country uh, i think countries are pretty extensive okay here's the point of a tsa agent which is oh is agent really on there yes it's tsa agent that's what it is oh no worry i'm googling it yeah. oh my gosh here's the point okay basically when you go eh. to the airport Go ahead. Explain what TSA is, and then okay. I'm going to tell you what it actually means. 
Okay, tell me what it actually means. <laughs> no, go ahead. Tell, say what okay, you're going to say. As far as I know, when you go to the airport, okay, these are the same people that are telling you take off your shoes, take off your metal, and walk through the machine, right? They're checking your bags, make sure you're not bringing any contraband, anything that could blow up a plane, or anything that you could use to take over a plane, like a knife or a gun or something like that. I guess something could be in your shoes. Please, when you here's the thing. When you go to the airport, I knew someone who's a TSA agent. When you go to the airport, just do what they say because it gets on their nerves. Hey, take off your shoes, but these are flip flops. The shoes, okay, the shoes. Take them off, walk through, it's better for everybody. You're getting on everybody's nerves. So basically, that's what they do. They are the, they are, it might not be in the description, but they are the first line of defense supposed to protect you from not <laughs> blowing up a plane. And now they've gotten, of course, more strict. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, that's what they basically do. Okay, so TSA. Mm-hmm. What does it stand for? TSA stands for. Wait, 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 wait. Terminal? S- no, 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 no. Get, get, what's the next letter after T? S. TSA. No, I meant in that word, in the T word. What's the next word after T? No, the letter after T. It's transportation. Dude, I, the <laughs> R. R is what you would have said. R is what you would have said. <laughs> transportation security associates? Administration. Ah, was it security though? Yes. Transportation. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Security and administration. All right. Which is an agency of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Ooh, Homeland. That has the authority over the security of the traveling public gotcha. in the United States. Ooh. Can you guess when this actually occurred? Apparently, TSA has not always been, been a thing. 9-11? Yeah. Oh, they just became a thing in 9-11? Literally. Because of 9-11's attack to the U.S. is when I TSA TSA was well, founded. I didn't go on a plane until much later, so mm-hmm. my knowledge was that they were always there. Mm, I mean, after I remember 9-11, I went on a plane right. much, much later. 9-11. I was 11? Yeah, I was 11. Mm. Mm. No, that's not right. That's not Great right math. at all. Great math. <laughs> Great math. Great math. No, no, no. Because I was 11 in 2011. Is that when it was? No. That's math is wrong, too. Moving on. <laughs> no, we basically like... cover what TSA is. Yes. What does that have to do with your Oh, point? my point. <laughs> I was 11 in 2011. Anyways, I mean, 2001. Mind you, your birthday is coming. <laughs> <Right>? oh. <laughs> And it was like in 2011. I was like, wait a second, it's 2017. Your birthday is literally tomorrow. And you can't remember oh, how old you are. That's so sad. Now, I remember my age. I don't oh. remember my age back then. It's a difference. Okay, anyway. But it was the same number as the in year. Point is, my point is. Your your age goes with the year each year. Yeah, I know. That's so why 12, I, you was 12. 13, you was 13. No. 2000, 2017, you add another, you're 27. No, that's wrong. Because I'd be, I'd be 17 right now. No, 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 no. It's 11, 12, yeah. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. No, yeah, you'd have been 11. That doesn't make sense. How old are you? I'm 27. So how were you in 2011? 2011, I was 21. Ah. Yeah. So See, the one. Right, is what messed me up. The extra, not extra one in 2001. You were 21? In 2011, yeah. That's when 9-11 happened? No, not let it happen in 2001. That's what I thought. Yeah, I was 11 then. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) The confusion. Everyone everyone listening to this podcast at this point is like, what's going on here? What is is the show? Back to to TSA agents. Now, this is a stupid point. I don't know if we'll cut all that. (laughs) Hickle brief history on on TSA. (laughs) It's nobody new. You know? Oh, goodness. Do you still remember where you were in 9-11? Great math. I know exactly where I was in 9-11. Me too. Isn't that crazy? We were at the school. No, but think about it. Do you, where were you the next day other than school? Shut up. <laughs> I was back at the school. But I don't remember the, the next day. we both went to. No, was no, I wasn't at that school then. You were at that school. No, I wasn't. Oh, you weren't? Mm-mm. I was at that school. Yeah, you were. And I think it was like two you know years I after was the that. next day? At back school. at the school. See, I, I don't remember like the Thursday next day. Too. Yeah, it was in the middle of the week. I think it was a Thursday. You know, and a guy had just passed me a note saying he liked me. Of course he did. I'm sure you get notes on a frequent occasion. No, not as often as you think. 
more than the normal breed of people. Nah, less than the normal. No, no, definitely more. No. Nah. I've never gotten one. So if you got one more than me and I'm normal, you've got a bunch more. That's lies, because you know how you got notes? Text message. No. Not in school. Okay. I didn't have a phone. We're not talking about you right now. I'm just saying. <laughs> That was my point. And then he was asking me to tell him if I liked him or not. Did Tony, you? I don't even remember his name. I don't remember what he looked like. But did you? Do you, you know how you might not remember his name. But do you? I have don't think feeling? I did. Okay, thank you. That's what I want to know. And then we that's when nine eleven happened. The first plane that, that went sign. to the building. It was him. Yeah, <laughs> I never responded because that's when all of a sudden you heard this woman screaming in the hallway. Wait, it was the same day. Yeah, it was the same day the 9-11 happened. It was literally, oh, like, I, I got the letter. the letter came, and then the next day, oh. I was like, it was him. But uh, uh, no, no, no. I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay, Shit. anyways, back to TSA. Yes. So. Our first line of defense. <laughs> Woo! Of Homeland Security. Yeah. You know what's kind of funny? I feel like Homeland Security is like, bruh, y'all like our secretary. Stop. Y'all ain't real security. Honestly. I'm not gonna lie. They do a lot for. They do a lot. I mean. For the airport. They don't. Some of them don't care. Right. And some of them are moles. But they do a lot. A second ago, it was 609. And now it's 623. Yeah, that second ago was a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, that was a good little minute now that I look back. After all that, uh, that long... TSA. Yeah, that was. That's probably... That's the just... That's, that's the whole episode is a TSA. So, I was about to say, the question was... <laughs> my points are, no doctors. This is Davis point two. No. Don't spoil it. Y'all already spoiled it when you didn't come up with another point. <laughs> Why would I come up with another point? We've done this before. We both had the same point. We just kept going on. Did we? Yes. I don't recall. Because then we expound upon that point together. Mm. You don't remember nothing. No, these are facts. This anniversary is going to be horrible. <laughs> Why? Oh, because you think I'm not going to remember it? You're not. <laughs> Lies. When is our anniversary? Oh, you meant ours. I thought you meant my relationship. <laughs> And my second point was less successful <laughs> suicides. <laughs> and then, how do I say my last point? When you go through tears, <laughs> I think you said enough. I think we've had a long, good point of that. Okay, my three points were that Labor Day. No, that's not right. Uh, people would work uh, for time, not money. My second point was that doctors would go out of business. And my third point is that no one would have teen years. And that's the show, guys. I don't know what you're listening to us on, but you can also check us out on our hosting site, Podbean. Also, can donate a dollar there. You get a bunch of nice things, like, for instance, tomorrow you get a fra- fra- um, frappuccino. I know. <laughs> 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 discount frappuccino. For instance, tomorrow you get a flick fails. So you can watch a movie with us and listen along. The second. No. Yes. The second was our anniversary. September 2nd. September 1st. Anyway, um... <laughs> For real? Yes, it was a Friday this year. Anyway, uh, good job. Uh, <laughs> I was making sure you knew because I was going to say. Shut up. <laughs> so I can finish this. Anyway. <laughs> uh, anyway, you can also listen to us on. Also, yeah, uh, Pie Bean, donate there, please. You can donate a dollar, get some treats or whatever. Also, you listen to us on iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Google Play, SoundCloud, WordPress, TuneIn. Um, uh, also, uh, I want to say a little bit of a tiny little sorry to the people who are on Google Play who follow us there because it was delayed because it was complicated trying to change the RSS feed and all this other stuff so you weren't getting new episodes. Now you are. So, yay, you guys. Okay, but anyway, we also have a Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook all at Real and Real Pod. Now, Eve, the lovely Miss TSA Knowledgeable Agent. Eve, where can they find you? Administrator. Just to clarify. Agent. <laughs> Um, you can find me wow. on <laughs> Miss Lovely underscore <clears throat> cares. cares. Yep, no, it's coming. <laughs> I'm at It's a Christian, and thanks for listening, guys. We hope you have a great day. Bye. Hey, guys, as I'm sure you noticed, you didn't hear Eve's last point. No, she didn't forget to say it. Um, the audio just faded out, and we really don't know why that happened. We're working to figure out what's going on there since it's happened before. But I uh, just want to let you know, you didn't have a seizure or your mind didn't clip out or anything. Your ears didn't stop working. It just faded out. I think it was something about Lego people going through conveyor belts in x-rays rather than walking through or something crazy like that. But I uh, just want to give y'all that clarification. Thanks. That's it. Bye.